All right, time to talk super coach now. NBL commentator Nathan Strempel is with us, looking very suave, I might add. Nathan, I need all the help that I can with this. Talk us through what is happening at the moment. What do you mean you need all the help, Jojo? I got beaten head to head this week by Hammer. I'm waiting for a baby to come any day now, but I'm still doing my super coach research and I'm grateful that coming off the holiday season, we've got most of the teams on doubles, only four teams. Perth, no double game. Melbourne, no double game. Cairns, no double game. And Southeast Melbourne, Phoenix. So stay away from those. But any other teams, you can take the pick from whatever talent you like. Hammer, I think I need to hand over the expert hat to you. <laughs> well, I'm not going to get too carried away right uh, right now, but I uh, will be interested to see what uh, decisions you're going to make, mate, because as you say, a lot of teams on doubles, which way are you going to go to be able to improve your team and try and get one back on me, pal? Well, I do have some work to do. It is a case now, though, we're only five rounds away from the end of the season, so you can start planning towards the end. So it's teams like Illawarra, teams like New Zealand that do play a bunch on double game rounds throughout towards the end of the season. So maybe it's a Sam Froling or Gary Clark from Illawarra. Or if you're thinking short term, the Adelaide 36ers have just found a turn of form. They've turned towards those main four guys in Isaac Humphreys, Wiley, DJ Vasilovic and Trey Kell that are playing a lot. So maybe short term you want to use them, boost up your score and then uh, see out the rest of the season with someone else. Nath, I'm pretty much at my salary cap. Have you got any cheap smokies that you can give us a bit of insight about? Oh, I'm glad you asked. This is where I think the break is really coming into play because we see Will McDowell-White coming back from injury, Zylan Cheatham coming back from injury. So they're priced a little bit lower. So one of those two would be a good one to look at. Or maybe Lockie Olbrick is just trying to find some form towards the end of the season. Now, he's still fairly cheap. But do remember, next week, Perth go on double games, and I know we're chatting to him later in the show, but Bryce Cotton is absolutely tearing the league apart. So if you can go cheap this week, maybe save some cash to get Bryce in your team next week to finish out the rest of the season. If anyone doesn't have Bryce in their team already, they are doing it wrong. I've got to say that. Nate, love your work. Thank you so much. Good luck with everything from a family point of view as well. Can't wait to hear the news. Thanks, guys.